Hi, Water Signs. It's Athena. Welcome back to my channel. This reading is for the Water Signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, for the month of March 2020. Okay? So, the um, this is for just the elements. For each of the elements, I'm doing the readings um, and then if you want an individual reading for your sign only, um, you can go on my, I'm going to post the link below in my description box for purchase if you want any more entailed um, reading for March. I'm doing each of the signs individually on Vimeo. You can purchase those. And I'm doing this for a few months because, or for a while, I, I, I don't know. Like I said, um, so that this helps support the channel and keep it going. Okay, thank you. Thank you again for your support. Now, um, for the month of March 2020, for all signs, the song that I've chosen is Coming Home by John Legend. So you may, you may want to just listen to that song. All right, let's get started for the water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, for the month of March 2020. This is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? It's always good to know your natal chart, okay? It really helps. It helps bring in more of the storyline, okay? Not that you want to be on YouTube all the time. I mean, I'm not... I'm not saying, but you know, when you're taking a break, you may want to hear your moon and or rising sign as well. And Venus is important too, because that's all, speaks all about love. All right, let's go. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for the month of March, 2020. All right, let's begin. Let's see what's going on. Water signs. Oh my God. Hope. Wishes coming true. Gifts from the universe. I'm telling you, all these readings are fabulous for March 2020. In the individual readings for all the signs, now for all the elements. I mean, it's crazy. Gifts are being bestowed to those who have had hope, kept the faith, the planets are all aligned. This is also the planets all aligned to gift you with these blessings. It's time. I mean, really it is. We can all thank the Pisces season for these blessings. More importantly, thank the angels. Okay. Also, this is the sign of Aquarius. So some of you water signs may be dealing with an Aquarius. If you're not, then it doesn't apply. All right. Look at this. Moving forward with peace within your own heart center, right? Moving, uh, not moving, going forward, making moves. Th this, these are the arrows of love that give you peace of mind. This could be the blessing. Um, not only something that maybe you post on Instagram, Facebook, what have you, social media, but it's more messages coming in action being taken that's going to give you peace of mind, whatever that is, whatever these blessings are coming toward you, for sure, right? Could be coming in from a distance as well. Okay. And you're going to have to choose. So you may have all these blessings coming in, and it's your choice to what? To decide whatever it is that you are choosing. There's going to be a choice that you're going to need to make in the month of March. You're headed toward the light so you know what your heart wants. That's important. Go, whatever decision you make, make sure it's heart-based. Okay? We have Aquarius, Sag, and Cap right here. So you could be dealing with those signs. It does not mean that you are, OK? 
okay? Let's continue. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Walking away from what hasn't worked, that could be your decision. Walking away from the dark to the light. You could also, with this full moon, during the full moon, getting downloads from your higher self as to what decision. You may be praying for, for some guidance and help from the other side, be it your your deceased loved ones or what have you. Or, or it's just your higher self is going to give you some information on how to make this decision that's going to fill your cups back again, which means making you happy again, right? So you're going to be really happy when you make this decision, but it needs to come from the heart. Remember that. In order for you to have peace of mind, it will come from the heart. And this is the manifestation, as above, so below, is also the card here, as above, so below. So what you are creating right now, water signs, are the blessings of coming coming at you, coming to you, whatever blessings there are, they're coming in March, it is from the universe, it's from your higher self, you're getting downloads from your higher self to manifest that which is what you are so desire, right? It's happening for all the signs. It's great. So here is the Ace of Cups. So you could be the highlight, you know, the spotlight is on love. So you are making a decision about love. It could be coming in really quick. You're finally deciding to move past what wasn't working and go towards what is working. And this is going to be a blessing. Something is a blessing in disguise as well. We have the wisdom and the knowledge. So this is your higher self because this is your higher self looking at the wisdom that you've attained and achieved. You're making a decision to move on in your life, to move, to move ahead in your life. Whatever these ble a blessing in disguise from leaving what wasn't working to what is working or what will be the decision you make to move forward in your life, right? So you're making a decision to move on, move forward, right? Okay, let's get one more card. And this is going to balance your life in terms of the decisions that you make here in the month of March is going to enable you to, to balance out your life again. You're getting great wisdom. That could be the gift that you're receiving, the wisdom and the knowledge that you're getting from the higher planes, right? Coming in, the, you could be balancing out your money, but I, I don't feel that as much. I feel this is just you're, you're balancing out, you're weighing out your options as to where to go from here. Bottom of the deck is after heartbreak. So this is what, the, the heartbreak was a blessing in disguise. As much as it is difficult to say, it is true. So there could have, could have been a heartbreak that you had to walk away from for your highest good you're going to manifest now something that a life that is filled with balance and peace because that's what you want. You're going after that. Someone felt like, I mean, truly someone that you were dealing with or it's your own self thinking that you had options or that the what you were hoping for was an illusion, right? And brought you to this heartbreak. I mean, obviously there's three here. So someone had more options than you or vice versa. There it is. It's the one that got away. And for whatever reason, the universe is saying, hang tight because walking away from this is going to stabilize your life and be a blessing in disguise, which it is. Because someone had three people or more, actually. some There was more than two people in the equation. 
and you know, three's a crowd. And if there was more, that's even harder to, to manage. And that gave you great heartache, right? And this works vice versa, so remember that. It could be you having options or you having a third party and there's three cups on the ground that you don't want and the one that you wanted could have been the one that the universe is saying you're still in search of because here's the manifestation of that one cup right here. So that one cup is showing you it's right here. The universe is going to show you the cup that you is going to fill you to fill you and balance your life. And it may not be the one that you felt hurt you deeply. It may not be the same person that you're thinking about, right? Or vice versa. You could have been hoping for this one person, but you had more options and that person just said, I'm out. You know, so you focused on work, on work, your money, your stability in order to release yourself from this. You kept yourself busy. You've been keeping yourself busy in March. You're going to focus on your work and maybe not so much on what wasn't working so that you can like try to heal from this. Okay. And the decision that was made is for your highest good. Because no decision is a decision, right? But the one cup that you were hoping to get, to grasp, is not the cup that you think it is, right? Because there's three people or more in this, in this situation. And that can't happen. A child could be involved. Or it could be if you're, you know, in your 20s or what have you. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, okay, could have been someone who also is a Leo, Aries, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, that was immature and thought they had more options and that they could juggle, they were juggling you as well, or you were juggling a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or it's in your, it's in your natal chart, it could be you that you were, you could also, this could have been, you know, I mean, if you have three people in a, in a situation or more, I mean, that really depicts, that does depict immature behavior. You can't sustain a relationship based on three people in a relationship, right? You guys know that. So that's where the heartbreak comes in, right? Someone has broken your heart, you've broken theirs, but it's because someone was juggling three people and being immature about it and did not work hard enough to get anything going. So they just put their focus on work and not on the situation. The happiness that you want, the planets are aligning. This is a progression. The planets are aligning for you to get your happiness, right? Your happiness. What makes you happy, water signs, right? What makes you happy? What makes you, what is going to bring stability into your life? You must make the choice. You must make the choice. What is it? The universe is going to bless you with what you need. Not necessarily what you want is what I'm hearing, but it's still going to make you happy. A child could be involved in a relationship as well. Okay. So we need to get out of this heartbreak and we need to move forward and accept what is what has transpired. And in March, the blessing is getting over this heartbreak the blessing is making a decision based upon something that will balance your life out and making a commitment to yourself, right? The commitment to yourself of healing and having hope for the future, that blessings are going to come. True love will come to you, right? 
but not under the not under the guise of three people or more. Okay. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. What are there any clarifying much more of the information here that we can give to the water signs? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March in the year 2020. They look like they're walking away from what hasn't been working because someone had way too many options. So it's time to rest. The universe would like you to start meditating so that you can heal. All this green is about healing your heart. All the trees is the tree of life. The tree of life brings you great wisdom. So through this experience, you have gained great wisdom, right? Which, I mean, after something like this, we can only learn from that, right? This, there is destiny to be had. So the destiny, right, is, is coming in to tell you that once you heal your heart, your life will be back in order. You have to have, you have to believe and you have to have faith that the universe is going to bring you this Ace of Cups. Your destiny, this is part of the plan. This is divine destiny. This is part of, you had to go through this heartbreak. It is a blessing in disguise. You had to go through this to realize what it feels like to go through. I mean, I know it sounds bad, but you had to go through a heartbreak to the point where you, you learned and you grew from it. And maybe also at some point dropped your ego after not getting what you wanted. And this is part of your destiny. It could be a karmic relationship that had to be released because that was the lesson. That's the blessing in disguise. You stood your ground or someone stood their ground. They put up their boundaries and they said, here's the deal. I'm not going to deal with a third party situation or more. I'm going to stand my ground and say, I'm not going to deal with this anymore. So by standing your ground, you or the other party, you had to say, I'm not putting up with this anymore and walk away. And that's what you've done. And once you do that, I mean, this was, this was destined to happen. It was in the cards. I mean, literally, there it is. Because here's your Ace of Cups. Here's your destiny. Once you stand up for your belief systems and you put your boundaries up, just like um, vice versa, this is what you receive. There's the blessing. You finally said, I'm not going to put up with any third party situations. I only want one, one good one right? That is going to give you growth, stability, harmony, and peace. And here is the blessing that is, that is, these, this is the blessing that's coming to you. You had to go through a heartbreak. You had to go through some kind of karmic heartbreak to realize to realize that the real blessing is, I just heard the grass is not greener on the other side. So you stood up for yourself, you put your boundaries up, or someone did, and now you're receiving that which is, which is granted to you. It's a gift. This is a gift. The hope of a true relationship that will and has all the depictions of your future here future happiness so plotting and planning has been in place we have two sevens on the board so that for sure is the universe heaven has been working very diligently to get this in your life because of what has happened you know after this after the one that got away 
but did the one get away? No, because the one that you that is destined to be with you is here for you, front and center. It's just maybe not the one that you thought it was going to be because someone had too many options. Someone was in a third party or more relationship, right? Was being immature, not wanting to work and or change anything. So you or the other person walked away. I feel it's you walked away. And now the universe is saying, choose wisely. Why? Because it is free will. Another seven. We have three, three sevens on the board. So the universe is trying to work their magic, the angels, your higher self. You have the star and the magician. You can manifest the relationship that you want, whatever is destined to be. The universe is collaborating with you to do so. After there's no more three-party situations, after there's no more options, because your destiny cannot be options. Your destiny has to be the one right here. The one right here. It was your destiny to go through a heartbreak. And, you know, and I know it sounds like, well, that's not fair, but that's how we learn. You learn through, we, we all learn through our mistakes. We all learn through what it is that we have to go through. A passionate new beginning is coming to Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Earth, and Venus. You need to follow your heart always. Follow your heart. This is the Ace of Wands. Follow your heart with passionate love within so that you can get your destined partnership here. This is all about love here. All right. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What are the what is the one card from the Archangels and Ascended Masters for the water signs for March 2020? Follow your heart. You can't go wrong when you follow your heart. And you put up your boundaries. Like, this is not for me. All right? And that's, you cannot settle for, for three people in a relationship. It's not happening. You're not doing it anymore. Expect miracles, the Holy Spirit. Also, another, the, the peace, that the peace of mind is going to give you the balance in your life. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. There you go. Look at this beautiful reading. I'm telling you, the month of March 2020, everyone's coming into their own. The universe is gifting those who have worked very hard on themselves and to gain that ace of cup. They've worked hard on themselves. They've mastered their self-love and now they're, they're being gifted. Okay, one angel oracle card for the singles and one for the couples. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, in love. One card for the singles and one card for the couples. All right, let's do it. Singles, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ than who you expected, exactly what we were talking about. So who you thought was the one is actually not. The universe had someone else in mind for you, right? This is a blessing of a union, but of two people. So keep an open mind, keep an open heart, follow your heart, and the couples is getting to know each other. So if you were having relationship issues in the past with your significant other, now you're talking it out, you're working out through all the, the creases, you're, you're maybe going on vacation to get to know each other again. There is a child here involved. We saw that in the um, Leo Aries Sag. So you're getting to know each other again talking it out, resolving your issues so that your bond can deepen. Have a great month.